All right, guys, as promised, I would do a quick walkthrough through my current Notion setup. This was discussed in the second brain episode with Zoe. And I will just show you briefly how I use Notion and how this has been a tremendous upgrade to my professional and personal life. All right, first page, the command center. This is a term I borrow from August Bradley. He is a professional Notion guy, YouTuber, expert, podcaster, has some amazing content, really check him out. And what this page basically is, it is a page on which you can see your daily dashboard, the things you're gonna work on on that day. And as you can see here, I've created some blocks of days. I like to keep this, that is days in as small reminders where I'm gonna work on on a specific day. So I've noticed for myself, I work best if I have one specific area to work on on a day. This just reminds me of what I'm gonna work on. Then we have the toggles right here. So what I've noticed with Notion is that you can really make crazy shit. You can go insane. You can create dashboards with everything on there, but in the end, you will not really use them too much. And this is definitely true for me. So I decided to just keep it very minimalistic, keep it very clean, it gives me clarity, gives me structure. So let's dive into the first toggle right here, which is tasks. What Notion allows you to do, the power of Notion, is that you can really create awesome views with only one database or two databases. So you can store all your information in one or two databases and then pull that data and create a specific view for, yeah, for what, whatever you want, basically. So here you see all my tasks that have the filter today and that are unchecked. So these are open tasks, as you see here in the view. And what this allows me to do is I can instantly see, hey, I need to do this today still. This is open. So for today, that is check the Google ads of the Lion's Mane campaign for Microdose Pro. It's a P1 priority one task. It's shallow work because it takes like two minutes. And basically what this is, this is just one database with here the open tasks. Then you have finished tasks. So those are tasks that have a check mark. So I can also see what I've done in the past uh, few days. And then there is a missed deadlines database view. And here are all the tasks that do not have a check mark, but they are deadlined before today. So I can instantly see at the end of the day, if I open this view, there are a few tasks I still need to do. So I have to replan those. Then what is pretty cool is that I didn't know this before, but with Notion, you can actually pull databases from different workspaces. So these ones right here, client A and Microdose Pro, these are the same, uh, not the same database, but these are also with the same setup uh, databases put in there, but they are actually located in different workspaces. And this is of course uh, quite powerful because now you can use your own personal Notion workspace in order to pull data from all workspaces that, that, that you are in. So that's, that's really, really cool that they've done that. Okay, moving on to the second tab, which is here, calls and meetings. I keep notes of a specific meeting. I will not go into one right here, but I will show uh, notes later. Uh, but this really helps me in order to, yeah, to, to see what's been said during a meeting. If there's any next actions, I can all see that right here. So the last toggle right here, affirmations, I will keep this close for now because it's a bit personal, but here are just some daily reminders that I read in the morning in order to, yeah, to set my mind in the right direction for the day. So it reminds me of what kind of person I want to be and yeah, what kind of things I want to focus on in life. Then going to the second page, the roadmap. Notion has something new and it is called the timeline view. And this is amazing because now I can have all the projects, which I will come to in a bit, and I can visualize them in a way that I can create a roadmap. So I can see all the projects on this timeline I'm going to work on this year. And this is really powerful because now I can see, hey, this is done and this is still in the pipeline. And it gives me a yeah, super clear overview. I, I love this new feature. 
All right, I will get into this project later, but first let's move on to the inbox page. This is just a replacement of Apple Notes. I used to make use of Apple Notes a lot, but I thought, hey, why not do everything in Notion, right? It's almost as good, it's just not as fast. So that's one of my bigger remarks with Notion that it's, yeah, it's not so fast. It can be quite slow at times, especially with loading big databases. So Notion, I'm not sure if you're listening, but please improve the speed. That would be really, really great. But nothing really special in here, just notes. Let's move on to the next page, the log. The log is, yeah, this is a, one of my favorite pages. Here I track my habits, my routine, my performance on a daily basis, my supplements. I like to, to keep track of a lot of things. This was a bit of a, a struggle at first when I started doing this because I was of the philosophy that you can better just do things instead of tracking a lot. But I've really noticed since I've been doing this that I have way better insights in my performance and my habits. And that's why I'm still doing this. Who knows in the future, I will just be completely intuitive and I will let this go. But for now, it works. So the first tab, routine slash habit tracker. What I do here is I track at night my habits. This only takes five minutes. I know it can look a bit overwhelming, but for me, this is quite powerful because it gives me clear insights in which areas to improve. So there are a few properties here. I will not go through them all, but as you can see right now, here, for example, uh, Wim Hof method, I've not really been consistent that year, this year. I like to do this every day. So that's a habit I need to work on, but also fasting. This is the amount of hours I fast during a day. Uh, this has been quite consistent, but here we see waking up way too late, way too irregular and not a good sleep schedule this year. So this is the power. I felt a bit tired the last few days and that's what we can see here actually in the next step in performance. This is very subjective, but as you can see, my energy levels have been really going down during the last days, fours. This is not good, so I need to rest more and I need to go to bed early tonight. So that's the power here. I like to, to just review this on Sunday and to see how have I been performing, where can I improve? And although it can take a few minutes a day, this for me, it's, it's definitely worth it right now. So let's dive into the third tab, supplements. Here I just keep track of the supplements I take during the day. You can see this creatine, coffee, psilocybin, lion's mane, whatever you see here uh, is what I take. And I like to link this to how I feel, if it makes me feel good, if my performance is better, etc. And this one is fun, coffee. Yeah, this these are high numbers. This has to go down because coffee is my demon. I love coffee keeps me very sharp and I like the rush, but in the end, it's not really worth the jittery feeling of it. So this also gives me quite good insight if I have to lower my coffee consumption during the next week. Then the fourth tab, which is a microdosing log. This is pretty cool because I tracked all the, uh, yeah, the factors regarding microdosing. I try to track how it has affected my mood, my focus, energy, all these, these, these things. And if I could link that to my specific dose. So if I could find my optimal dose of psilocybin. And this was in October, so it's it was just one month. I don't do this anymore, but for finding my optimal dose, this was really good. And then we have the latest tab, journal. Here, I don't do too much. I like to keep my journal physical, but I've been experimenting with Notion. And as you can see here, I've created a template for a five minute journal. So if I open just this page of today, put some stuff in there, these are all preloaded. So this makes it easy. And yeah, just a, a small experiment. Not sure if I'm gonna use this, but so far it, it works. Then the calisthenics routine page. Here I track my workout my sets, my reps, and if there's any progress. So here you can see I've created a view for all the days of the week, but also the area. And 
on Sunday, I just fill these in for the coming week. And then during the workout itself on my phone, I can just put my rep number in here, create a little formula with the goal and completion and the score. So this right now is 100, but if you can see, scroll down here in the beginning, when I started this in the beginning of December, this was quite hard. So the scores were low and I can now see, hey, the scores are getting to 100. So there is progress being made which is of course good. But let's move on to my favorite page of Notion so far. This is just an original database page, but it's a knowledge database. So I am right now migrating all my knowledge, all the resources I have into Notion because I love the fact that I can have such a clear overview on topic here. So last, month I recorded a podcast on flow states and all the articles and yeah videos books podcasts I consumed I can put it in here and then I can put a filter on it so I have one view just for flow states because I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos but the interface really sucks uh, you I do not get a clear clear overview there so I put that in here but also books, articles, everything. And what I did is I created a value property. So just to show you this one with a 10, which is really high. This notes from flow states for ultimate human performance. Hey, again, from August Bradley, the notion guy, you can see my notes here. Just some, yeah, just some notes from the podcast and this, yeah, it, it's just a, a very nice place to, to, you know, to store everything. What I've done also is I've linked this with a relational database to the projects database. And I created a project for myself, consumed 20 pieces on flow states because I wanted to prepare myself for the recording. And I can show you right here. Here is the projects page. So what I've done here is I create projects for things I want to achieve in a specific time frame. So just to give a very brief explanation of the para method I am using, it stands for projects, areas, resources, and archive. It's created by Tiago Forte, the creator of the second brain course. And what this method says is that everything in life either falls into one of these four categories. So a project is something with a definite scope. It's something that has clear tasks and a clear goal, but an area, for instance, I can show you that right here is something that does not have a clear yeah, a clear deadline. It's something that you will always be working on in your life. So I like to define my areas here. I ch recheck these like every now and again, things I like to focus on in life, things that are that matter for me, but they don't have a specific end date. So let's say blockchain and crypto, I, I like that. So then a specific project here would be this one blockchain crypto. This is to record a podcast on ocean protocol with Jorn for my blog, uh, Blocklog. It's a Dutch blog on cryptocurrencies. And it seems like a fun plan to create also a podcast uh, on that. But now I've created this project and I can then create tasks related to this project. So small chunks, really small things uh, that I can do in order to make this project a success. So the first task here would just be call Yorn and plan the date and then see from there what other tasks could be. But the fun thing here is that this, what you see right here, this projects are the same as this one. It's the same database, just with a different view. So you only have to do the work once and then you have this nice roadmap slash timeline. So that's, yeah, that's the power of notion. Let's move to this one right here resources. It's not a page I spend a lot of time in, but I store some some resources as it says in here, for instance, the music sets. It's a view on site trends. These are sets I listen to during the day when I work. Also rate them. This set I just finished. It's amazing. Check this guy out electric samurai if you like site trends. Awesome, awesome set. And yeah, same goes for people, for art. I like to store some art in here, that, that's nice. 
principles, which are personal, so I will keep that closed. But I don't spend a lot of time in the resources page itself. Moving on to the last page, Settle Custom. I really love this page because it's quite new to me, but you can here synthesize IDs and link previously unlinked IDs together and create new thought. And yeah, that, that's quite amazing. This allows you to, to get more insights and epiphanies. So that, that's, that's quite cool. Uh, thanks Zoe for getting me into this uh, Settle Custom thing. What you can see here is again, I made a view on uh, a topic, a flow state, again, for the preparation of the podcast. And this is a good example, I believe, right here. Yeah, so flow is the ultimate form of mastery. I am reading different uh, articles on different topics. So here I have created backlinks to those resources in the resources database, the knowledge database, Donald Hoffman on the fundamental nature of consciousness and flow, the psychology of optimal experience from Csikszentmihalyi. These are two different uh, different resources and they have different uh, topics. But I read one part in Flow that says Flow is an optimal state of consciousness. You master your own conscious state. And then I link that to the claim from Donald Hoffman that consciousness is basically the most fundamental layer of reality. And that triggered me to have my own new thought flow is the ultimate form of mastery and you can agree or disagree with that idea but this zettel custom setup allowed me to come up with that because i was linking those two unlinked things together concepts together and yeah that's the power of zettel custom and that's something i really have to explore more in the future but so far after just a few months of using this i really love the concept of this and i would definitely recommend it to you as well so that's it, a super brief walkthrough through my current Notion setup. Maybe it went a bit too fast, I'm not sure, but I think you get the idea of Notion right now, how I use it and also the power that it holds and how it really can yeah, make your life a lot easier. So that's it for now and see you later.